Hello everybody, welcome to another video. Today we'll be doing Forza Motorsport and its terrible, terrible performance. Now keep in mind what we want to accomplish here is have the game run in its 60 hertz V-Sync mode smoothly so you can enjoy your online experience and not have any huge lag spikes or interruptions. That is the goal. The first thing is something I'm never going to tell anybody to do except for this game. Put your monitor refresh rate to 60 hertz. It doesn't matter how high it goes, put it at 60. <clears throat> the next thing that we're going to do is when you're in the game, you're going to go to your dynamic optimization and hit custom. This will allow you to have the game recognize your advanced video settings properly when you switch them from auto. The next thing that we need to do is put the dynamic render quality to low, medium, high, or ultra. Whatever your preference is that can get you the maximum frames and smoothness while you're having a good time playing the game. The next thing that we need to do is take your native resolution. For me, it's 3440 by 1440. That's your monitor's resolution itself. And maybe give it one click lower if the game isn't running well for you. I went from 3440 to 3024 by 1296. This made a little bit of a difference, but it was enough to give me that full smoothness at 60 hertz like the game intends on you having. Next thing we need to do is go into advanced video. Here you can change your performance target to unlocked VSync. The reason we're using unlocked VSync is because we switched our monitor setting to 60 hertz. Now we can't go over that, so unlocked VSync is now 60 hertz instead of 120 or 144, 75, 90, etc. This means that 60 hertz is going to be smooth and we will have a better chance of improving our render latency and having a smooth game if we do it this way. Also, the resolution scale, putting that down to 75%, downscales the game 25% in terms of your resolution. You do lose video quality, however the game will run better. Anti-Cytropic filtering, I put it to off. Ray tracing is off because the game doesn't like it, it absolutely hates it for no good reason at all. Shadow quality is low, cube map reflection is low, and things like the car model quality and car livery quality I like to put up a little bit just so it gives a little bit of fidelity while I'm playing, and the track texture quality should also be on at least medium so the track doesn't look too bad while you're racing on it. If you follow this guide to start your settings off and do everything that I showed you here and then move on to start to increase the settings slowly one by one to see how your performance is affected and what each setting is doing to the game, this is the way that you will get the best experience out of your Forza Motorsport 2023. This is what I prefer to do because the game restricts you to 60 hertz online, so why would I do anything except other than try to get the game to run the best it can at 60 hertz so I can enjoy my online experience. Have a good day everybody, it's not about what you got, it's about how you set it up. 